Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some roadworks for all of your city building needs. In this video, I will show you how to make a worksite, a mini excavator, several different kinds of traffic light and barriers and road signs, and I'll also show you how to make some workmen. If you have a road in your city, then this build is perfect for you. You can place this pretty much anywhere that you have one. Watch until the very end of the video to see where I place this build in my city. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Step 1. We will build the mini excavator. Begin by digging a row of 5 in the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And place polished blackstone slabs inside of that hole. We then want to leave a gap of 1 extending across the road and dig another row of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And do the same. Now we want to place upside down polished blackstone stairs at the front and the back of our rows of polished blackstone connected together with a polished blackstone slab in the middle so you can see that we place opposing upside down stairs at the front and the back connected together with a slab and this makes the tracks for the Next, we want to place a polished blackstone slab here, connecting both sides of the vehicle together. We then want to place a polished diorite stairs on top of that block, a yellow concrete to the left, and then we want to extend the yellow concrete around the back of the stair, extending a further row here and here. We then want to place glass surrounding the stair to form a square, we can then extend the glass up and then across the top of the stair with black carpet on top of the glass. We then want to place a polished blackstone button here and moving to the back of the vehicle, a glow item frame here, here with red stained glass pane inside of the item frame. Next, we are going to place three yellow concrete on top of this block. One, two, three. With an upside down polished andesite stair here with a yellow concrete on top extend forwards by two one two place a stone brick wall underneath this place two yellow concrete one two then place a chain with an upside down polished andesite stairs underneath and underneath that a polished andesite slab we then want to place a lever here in this corner connecting these two rows together. We also want to place a stone brick wall here in this position and then I'm just going to place an acacia button here and here on the back of the vehicle. Next we are going to dig in the ground next to the excavator bucket. We will remove this block here and then free this way, one, two, three, and remove these two blocks. We are then going to destroy these two blocks, place light grey shulker boxes in there instead. We will then remove these two blocks and fill this with water, and these two blocks and replace them with coarse dirt. We then want to add some stone brick wall here, extending from the front of the hole to the back of the hole like so, and I think that this kind of just looks like a pipe built into the ground or something similar. Whatever it is, it looks like it needs fixing. Next, I'm going to leave a gap of one in front of this block and stack two light blue concrete on top of each other. In front of and to the left of this, I want to place a mangrove hanging sign, and I'm just going to write inside of this, roadworks. Behind and to the left of this we will place a polished black stone wall with two black concrete on top of each other. As long as you have all three of these decorations clustered together I don't think it really matters where they are specifically in the road. For instance on the back of the build we want to have the same three decorations and we can place the light blue concrete say here we can stack the two light blue concrete on top of each other. We can still have the same sign we could even have it 
hanging off of the light blue concrete itself as long as it says roadworks in it that's all good and then maybe just in front of and to the left of this we will have our traffic light so a polished black stone wall with two black concrete on top so you can see it's different but as long as it's all together it still looks good regardless on the road side of our work site we are going to place alternating red sandstone wall and diorite wall i'm going to place a red sandstone wall right here leave a gap place the diorite leave a gap alternate back to the sandstone so on and so forth just extending all the way to the back like this and we've actually connected to the traffic light which isn't a big deal at all on the footpath side if you have a footpath side we are going to use bamboo fence gate and mangrove fence in a similar sort of fashion we are just going to wall off all of this placing alternating bamboo fence gates and mangrove fence and we are just going to connect from the front to the back like this and that's perfect so as long as all of this is just all sealed off next i'll show you how to make some work people they are all made in the exact same way they are just placed in different positions so the first one is going to be placed here we start off with an armor stand throw down a crafting table open it up place a leather tunic in there with some orange dye and there we have a high fizz vest we're going to throw leather trousers in there with blue dye and there we have some work trousers next we can kit out our armor stand with a steve head or any head that you like high vis vest work trousers and then neverite work boots and we can use these in different scenarios. This guy is going to be a sign holder for just in case the traffic light isn't working, this guy can hold a sign that either says go or stop. We can also add another worker over here where the work is actually being done and we will make it in the same way, add the head, tunic, trousers and the boots. But we can also add some item frames with some tools around as well. So a pick and a shovel kind of makes sense as a hole is being done. So my final suggestion for the work people is that we can actually have one operating the excavator if we remove this glass and this stair and place our armor stand kitted down in all of the usual garb with a string here we can then extend the glass around the back and place carpet on top of the glass and then we actually have somebody inside of the excavator which is pretty cool next i'll show you how to make a bunch of different banners the first three of which are all traffic light related. So throw down a limb, open it up, place a yellow banner in there with some red dye, and the first banner that I'll show you how to make is a classic traffic light. So apply the cheap pattern, put lime dye in there, apply the base pattern, put black dye in there, and apply the bourgeois indented pattern. That is a classic traffic light, but we can make a traffic light that just says go so this is a lime banner with some black dye in there and we can just apply the draw indented pattern and equally so we can have a traffic light that is just stop so red banner black dye or draw indented so it's up to you which of these you want to use it would either be a classic traffic light on both ends or alternatively you can have a stop traffic light and a go traffic light so you can have the opposing ends so we also have to make some arrow banners two of them the first of which is going to be an arrow that points to the right so place a light blue banner in there with some white dye apply the pale sinister pattern fast pattern put light blue dye in there and apply the chief sinister canton pattern followed by the base sinister canton pattern we then want to place the or draw indented pattern and that is a right pointing arrow but we also need the reverse so put white dye in there with a fresh banner and apply the fast pattern the pale dexter pattern put light blue dye in there and apply the chief dexter canton pattern and the base dexter canton pattern and then the board draw indented pattern and now you can see that we have an arrow pointing in both directions we are going to apply these to our light blue concrete so we want the right pointing arrow this way to let people know that this is the way that we drive around the roadworks 
which means we of course want the opposing arrow on this side, letting people know that we of course drive this way around the roadworks. So I also want to show you how to make some handheld stop and go signs just in case the traffic lights aren't working. So the stop sign is really simple, red banner in there with some white dye and apply the fast pattern. And we would just place this next to our workman here and that would let people know that they can't drive around the roadworks just yet. So this is cool and all, but the problem is that it's it's hard to make like a good go sign in Minecraft because in real life it would literally just be a green sign that has the word go written on it in white letters. So instead we're going to just go with a lime green banner with an arrow on it. So we'll add a lime banner to the loom with some white dye and apply the pale pattern followed by the chief pattern, put lime dye in there and apply the ball jaw indented pattern and there we go. So depending upon whether you can pass in your car or not, we would have the banner here held by Handy Dandy Steve that says go or stop. So preferably you would probably want two of these wouldn't you? So we would have stop on this side which means that we can have go on this side, although this traffic light is kind of working, so let's just remove that, and there we go, that's just another option. We can, of course, just use the traffic lights as well. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, you can now use every single thing that you've learned in this video to make an unlimited amount of roadworks for your city. However, this video is not over, we must now add our roadworks into my city. I think that I'm going to place them right at the entrance of the new suburbs. There's been a lot of construction in this area recently, it makes sense that there have been some pipe problems. And that is that ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel, click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, please check the description below for the mini city builds playlist. We have over 100 builds in there for you to enjoy. Alternatively, the sidebar, hopefully the next upcoming video, YouTube, or just check the channel. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.